All right, what's up you guys? We got a new review today, something different. We're trying the new Quest. Well, I don't know if it's new, but it's Quest. New to us. New to us. Thin crust pizza, the uncured pepperoni flavored pizza. So, yeah, I've seen these in the grocery store multiple times. I know they have a couple other flavors, but we thought for this review, we'd keep it a little simple. So we're just going for the pepperoni today. Um, yeah, real quickly, Crystal gonna read off the calories, give us a little insight on the macros. Okay, so a thing to note is that the serving size is half a pizza. And we'll show you the full pizza, but the serving size is half a pizza. For half the pizza, it's 350 calories per serving, 22 grams of fat, eight grams of saturated fat, you have 25 grams of total fat, 19 grams of fiber. You mean 25 grams of Oh, sorry, it's 25 grams of total carbs, 19 grams of fiber, uh, three grams of sugars, and then 28 grams of protein. Mm -hmm. Now, for the full pizza, so let's say you're anxious and you wanna get a full pizza, it's 700 calories for the full pizza, 44 grams of total fat, 17 grams saturated fat, you have 50 grams total carbs, 38 grams of fiber, that is a lot of fiber, five grams of total sugar, and then 56 grams of protein. Wow, gains. Yeah. Gainsy. Wow. Gainsy. Um, gains and ass. Yeah, to kind of uh, go over the ingredients, um, it does say it has water, low moisture mozzarella cheese, uh, tomato paste, milk protein isolate, uh, cellulose, uncured pepperoni, no nitrates or no nitrates added except for those naturally occurring in celery powder and sea salt. Pork, beef, sea salt contains 2% or less of spices. Um, sunflower oil, soluble corn fiber, whey protein isolate, pecorino, romano cheese, etc., etc. just some spices. Um, yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, you're gonna go through that whole thing with beer in a minute. No, 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 that's pretty much, that's pretty much the basis of it. Um, so what we did here is preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Um, I put it in there for about like 22 minutes total. Um, yeah, so. There are directions on the box. So. Yeah, it came out actually looking pretty good. Yeah. Smelling good. It smells like pizza. It looks like a pizza. I mean, it looks like, a, like an oven baked pizza. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and just try it out and see if it actually uh, is worthy. I mean, was it? $7.48 oh. for the pizza, so. Which surprisingly is not too bad, but if you look at the size of the pizza, it's pretty small. It's I can I can easily small. take this down on my own. So, oh, yeah. I mean, how do you feel about the calories? I mean, they're not bad. It's probably better than what a regular pizza would be, right? As far I don't as know. like protein, would it be? I don't would know. Be I don't think it would. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't feel protein. like I don't eat pizza enough to. At least microwavable or oven baked. Oven baked pizza. pizza. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna try a pepperoni by itself right now, actually. So you, yeah, get, get, a, get, a, get a pepperoni, get a pepperoni. Yeah. Damn. It's good. Wow. wow. It's good. Tastes like a pizza. All right. Pizza. Let's just go ahead and dig in. Um, go ahead. I like to fold my pizza. Oh, Crystal. She's a folder. She folds it. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> I'm good. Pretty good. Wow. That is. The dough is a little doughy ish. I kind of like it that way. It's actually not too bad. Oh, it's got a little bit of crispiness to it. Um, I that's think a, the crust though. That's what I'm talking about. The crust is a little doughy. It's all right. I think the tomato paste is actually really, really good. The cheese is good. The pepperoni's good. I don't see anything wrong with this pizza. No. No, it's good. No, I think it's great. I don't really see any problems with it. I'm also starving, so. Yeah, I was gonna eat that pizza. But he's eating my pizza. Not anymore. Crystal's eating my pizza. She already ate, she just ate. And now she's eating a pizza. Yeah. So, Jerk. Um, yeah, that just kind of goes to show that you can't really put this thing down. It's pretty good. It tastes like a pizza. Um, I think the calories and the fiber are, you know, spot pretty on. good. It's pretty spot on. It's a pizza. It's not, you know. Yeah, I mean, as, as really as close as you can make like a pizza healthy and still taste good, 
I think Quest did a pretty good, good job. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and 56 I grams of protein is a lot of protein. Sometimes they'll do Quest things and sometimes they'll miss the mark, but this one, they did not miss the mark at all. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. I, I, I enjoy it too. I think it tastes great. Um, like I said, I mean, there's some differences in the dough kind of, I mean, you can kind of taste it. A little chalky. A little chalky, it's a little doughy, but I mean, honestly, it doesn't really get in the way of the flavor. No. I think it's great. Oh yeah. I think the price is great, I think. Um, the amount of fiber that this thing has, like as opposed to like regular pizza, because I mean, let's think about it. Like we're eating regular pizza, it's not. So I'm backing. It's up. not loaded yeah. with fiber because it's backing you up. It's yeah, got like a lot of cheese. Like it's backed up with pizza, man. I mean, you're consto. You're not happy. You feel like you're not happy. bloated. I you're bloated. Pizza. I'm happy in the moment. I'm happy in the moment. Afterwards, I feel like blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean. Yeah, I, I think I have to rank it like a five out of five, guys. Yeah, was, I really like this. Mm, five out of five? Five out of yeah. five. Yeah. yeah. Five, five out of five. Solid. I think it's I'm almost solid. done with my piece. Yeah. I threw this five out of five. Yeah. I think it's great. Yeah. Any last minute uh, words, thoughts? Mm -mm. What other flavors do they have? I think there's like an Italian pizza. There's a mushroom. And a mushroom. So, yeah, I know there's one with like veggies on it and stuff, so. Supreme? Yeah, like a Supreme, exactly. Like a Supreme pizza, yeah. Uh -oh. So well, we might have to try those and kind of decide which one's the best one because I like this a lot. I, I'm curious to see how this would compare with maybe like a cauliflower pizza. Uh, that might not be mm. as good, I'm but not fan, I'm not a fan of cauliflower. Flavors, yeah, but, like, but this this doesn't have any cauliflower type stuff in there, so that's something to kind of take note of. That's good for um, protein. I think like yeah, a cheat meal you know, after a long run, cheat meal kind of deal. Yeah, throw it down. It's yeah, definitely not good. a low calorie meal. But something maybe post workout if you eat half of it, or even like a, like a long run, long cardio session, you weren't trying to fill up on calories, but something that's going to be a little easier in your gut. I mean, holy yeah, crap! Good. I mean, it's a great option. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. Very good. All right, guys. That pretty much sums it up. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know if you tried this pizza. Let us know if there's any other pizzas that are worthy of doing a versus battle to the quest. Protein pizza. I'm curious to see if there's other protein pizzas out there, but uh, yeah. I mean, I like that this is also accessible. We got it at HEB, our local grocery 20, store. 22 minutes, ready to go. So, and yeah, 22 minutes, ready to go pizza. So, I'm not upset. But uh, yeah, let us know what you think of our review, guys. Let us know uh, what we should review next. We're always open ears. We're on our road to 1,000 subs as well. So make sure you like and subscribe, leave a comment. And you can also follow our personal pages down below. We have our personal Instagrams and then our uh, supplement reviewers, TikTok, TikTok and Instagram as well. Instagram. And we're doing little mini reviews on there. So make sure you check those out. And uh, yeah, that pretty much sums it up, guys. Thanks so much. Thank you so much for watching.